Hey, Jensen. So close to that sword and shield. Thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. All right. You have uh, some mono red Cavaclade here. So the cornerstone of this compared to the more traditional mono red decks, it says this card here. Whenever a creature you control with power one or less attacks, this deals one damage to the player or planeswalker they are attacking. So we've got a bunch of different one power creatures along with some copies of Chandra Spitfire here, which kind of goes Super Saiyan alongside uh, Calamity. So let's go ahead and dive on into some matches and see how this goes. I think these low to the ground red aggressive decks are probably pretty good against a lot of the kind of mopey field of the dead decks in the format right now. There's a, there's a lot of people kind of having like an arms race to greed their way to the top and like playing a deck with just a good curve that gets under them is a very reasonable way to attack people doing that. We've, we've spent a lot of time talking about recently how like the Golos field deck is like the biggest, baddest deck in the format. And the, a deck like this is a great way to attack that style of deck because it does not have a lot of respect or efficiency in it. Never, never didn't have it. When the, when the random, you know, I wonder, I think I actually made a mistake here. I think I'm supposed to attack with the spitter and then skewer this leafkin. They're going to like Omnath me here and I'm going to be sad. Yeah, I think, I think I should have killed this leafkin druid. Huh? All right. No attacks just yet. The Spitfire is pretty close to lethal if they just, like, play another thing that doesn't impact the board here. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we do this, we do this, we pass. And then if they don't have a, a removal spell or another flying blocker, we can skewer the storm cane and then attack with everything. And we're currently getting one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, my opponent's actually, actually dead here. Each of these, each of these Spitfires will be attacking for um, 19. There should probably be a fourth Spitfire in this deck. Card's kind of absurd. Triggers. When I said Super Saiyan, I I meant Super Saiyan. All right, so Goblin Chain Roller is probably pretty good here. Legion War Boss is pretty bad because they have plenty of blockers. Uh, Experimental Frenzy seems good. Seems fine. Yeah, we're going to put the fourth Spitfire in. We could have gotten nine more damage by bolting them and then the Steamkin. That's actually not true, Blizz Legend, because if we do that sequence of plays, my, um, if we do the sequence of plays you're suggesting, the Spitfires don't trigger the, uh, Cavaclade. Which actually results in us getting less damage. Let's 
Healer of the Glade. Let's read. Kaka! Well, they were, they were assuming our hand is, was much better than it is. They, they were assuming our hand was much better than it is. My frame is blue and white. Thank you for the biddies and the reminder. Fixed. I did update the kids' emotes. Their emotes were like two years old, so. Christy, Christy sent me some new photos last night. I'm gonna keep this. We got light up the stage, right? Don't veto me. Don't veto me. Don't veto me. Papi. Red red divination is busted, chat. He suggests resources on how to talk about esports to traditional sports. I've interviewed tomorrow for university esports position with the Department of Athletics. So if there's one bit of wisdom I can instill upon people regarding esports, it's that the more time I spend working in the esports industry, is I feel like this industry is held together by bubble gum and duct tape, and it's powered by investors who have money and don't understand what they're investing their money into. That's probably an absurdly jaded view, but like, I really, I really just feel like everybody is flying by the seat of their pants. I feel like the esports industry is like largely funded by people who like were worried they could potentially be missing the next dot com boom. I don't all I all I have to say is I don't know how any of that's profitable for anybody but I just keep cashing the check so I'm not gonna complain renegade chip thanks for the seven months I appreciate that welcome thanks for keeping me around up you're having a good one more VR Huh? What do I wanna what do I wanna do here? I like what Overwatch is doing next season where you can go see your home team play in your city instead of everything being in LA. It's probably just a big money fire. All right, so am I supposed to replay Spitfire here? I can also like play Scorcher and then like light up the stage. 
I think I'm gonna play Scorcher and light up the stage here. <clears throat> Like, if I hit a Cavaclade next turn, they're probably just dead. Really should have seen that coming. Jace the Man Sculptor. Three quarters of the year. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. Tell me if you've seen this one before. If, if there was a card called Jace the Man Sculptor, would the flavor text just be smooth as a baby's bottom? Bean Z, thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to Hoaglandia. Happy, happy Monday. Had a bummer of a day in Athens on holiday. Your NSFW Yarhawk stream made my day. That was, that was, that was just like peak salty laddering, Jeff. Thanks for, thanks for the nine months, Prof Doctor, Mr. P. Okay, so, huh. They're almost dead, right? Lightning Strike or Skewer both kills them next turn. Yeah, Cheddar, for sure. And I think, I think so, like, I think part of it, too, is, like, you're, you're, like, the, oh, they're gaining life, right? Um, I think Valve and Dota is probably an outlier when it comes to esports for the most part, too. So I think, like, comparing, when I say, like, a lot of esports seems like a lot of people don't know what's going on, or, like, the industry just seems like the Wild West, um... I feel like saying like, well, Dota's got it together, so it's fine. I feel like that's like a bit disingenuous just because like Dota's the industry leader. Find your fires of passion within. So if they don't have any interaction left, we're setting up for a kill with the Spitfire next turn. That's unfortunate. We might be pretty close to lethal anyways. Oh, not if they kill Chandra though. <clears throat> if we draw Cavaclade... If we draw Cavaclade, we get to kill, we get to kill them. Cause we can go shock strike the Krasis and then Cavaclade get a bunch of, get a bunch of triggers and Spitfires lethal. If they hadn't respected Chandra here, Chandra alongside these burn spells could have killed them. Yeah, I think unfortunately the escape shift into Hydrant Crisis is going to be a little bit too much for us to overcome, especially with the baffling end of the Tefri to back it up. Yeah, it only costs three mana to burn out the Crisis, so like if we would have drawn the Cavaclade here, we could have killed them. If your point to if your if your point to me saying a lot of esports seems like nonsense and I don't understand how they make money is to then point to Dota and then like backpedal and say, well, Jeff, I wasn't saying everything's like Dota. Then what's the point of even bringing up the fact that one is profitable? Like, what's the what's what's the basis for that? What's the logical reason to do that? Instead of just being like, Jeff, that's not what I meant, explain what you mean and just say, instead of just saying, Jeff, you're wrong. Be helpful, be constructive, be specific. I'm gonna go to one.
Want my blood, sons. This is probably a little bit too slow and fair. I'm trim a skewer. The rest of this seems fine. Came close there. Had some, had some draws at it. What about Gabin's emails? <laughs> uh, we are in sub mode. You got a get a little shovel there next to your name. If you didn't sub yourself, you probably were gifted a sub at some point. Welcome to Hoglandia, MenQ. So technically miss getting to play a land tier, but I think it was worth playing the firebrand out there just because it gets an extra point of damage in ASAP. Red needs land war elves. We need land war goblin. Esports is profitable because of brand deals and budget. Well, I, I guess I guess a good question on in my mind is are are there are there metrics public showing showing that they're actually profitable or are we just assuming that they're profitable? Can I not attack one of these here? Alright, that was that was weird. Ah, Hex. Oh, oh, Hex. Cavaclade's almost always a great draw, to be fair. Right on Don't worry. I got Yeah, I think I think there's a lot of there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding it. Shin. It's definitely neat. I think I think the long and short of it is though is that there's a lot of people that don't really know for better or worse what what's good and what's bad. For Twitch, you can go look at Amazon 10k. I don't know what that means. Is that exactly dead? I think that's exactly dead. The one that was created this turn has to attack, so it was helping. How do you feel about using Narsha at the turn? You really need to draw lands. Um... There isn't really a mathematical reason to not use Narset when you need to draw lands. The, in, the entirety of your deck is random. Hmm, this hand might have been a mulligan. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to mulligan this. That's a pretty good draw. Okie doke. This 
So we do this. We do this. We shock this. We attack for two. Thanks for all the great content. I don't know if you saw the Modern Madness thing for over the weekend, but it was the most modern tournament ever. I don't know what that refers to. Thanks for the 17 months, Seth. I haven't ever really been following modern stuff too closely. I've been kind of disinterested in the format for a little bit. Hasn't really been my cup of tea. Huh? They have, they only have five differently named lands. I think I'm going to kill the Golos and then attack for two and light up the stage here. And just hope they don't start making zombies. Hopefully, hopefully we have one more turn before zombies start popping off. Yeah, if they have, if they have root, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, this is pretty punishing. Ugh. Hey, King Nerd the second. Thank you for the four months of Prime. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. I think I just send this upstairs and light up the stage here. We just hope for no interaction and then to untap and kill them. Uh, there is not flame sweep. As always, you can type exclamation point deck in chat to get a direct link to the deck list. Feels dead. And this is, this is kind of a good example of why these kind of arms race style decks have been, have been really, have been so successful is because even when they, they pack very little respect for aggressive decks, sometimes the aggro decks just mulligan and they hit their failure rate. So like hoping your bad matchups hit their failure rate and then getting to dumpster all of the other decks by going way over the top of them is a really strong place to be. We're just dead, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe Hydroid Crisis or stuff like this. The reason to put Active Trees in the board. I don't know. It seems kind of narrow for exactly Hydroid Crisis, though. <clears throat>
as he ends great. Turn one. One drop into into light up the stages. Excellent. Or any goblin chain whirlard here and just die in a blaze. This is odd. It's a bad matchup to hit all of our spectacle cards. If they unban something sweet and modern today, we will do a day that is entirely playing decks that probably aren't good enough for modern anyways. If they don't unban anything in modern today, I don't foresee myself playing Magic Online anytime again soon. going on Kent uh for my for my regulars I am gonna be off tomorrow so I posted I posted my schedule on Twitter I had some magic online time in there that I'm gonna change but I am taking tomorrow off I have uh, have something to do all right so I think I'm gonna Chandra Zero. And then we can light up the stage plus skewer. PTO, no PTO, unfortunately. If uh, I have a dentist appointment that's like at like 9 or 9.30 and like that's like the middle about when I stream. So I'm just going to take the day off. Play some, play some catch up on other adult responsibilities. So I assume they're gonna hit me for two here, and then skewer Chandra, and then attack. Weird. Throw another punch, and you're gonna get burned. Not very efficient here. I feel like they should have twoed me, and then gone skewer plus firebrand here. Now they're gonna have to skewer here, which means they ultimately miss one point of damage on me. So that's good for me. If they don't have a goblin chain whirler in hand, the scamping scorcher could help us stabilize here. Yeah, typically the modern, the ban list update gets posted sometime about 35 minutes from now. Yeah, syllabus day is kind of stupid at college anyways, though. You're not missing much. Time to sleep for a week. Actually, we've had some first-time college students in chat. Um... My number one piece of advice, I don't think I've given this. Oh, this could have had haste, right? This gives all elemental haste. Um, you should you should read the entirety of the syllabus. I'm not saying the syllabus isn't important. I'm saying syllabus day, where you generally just read the syllabus to the students. That's a day worth missing. Or that's a day that's not super important to be there. The syllabus itself is very important. The, doc the document is important. The first day that most teachers spend reading the document, which is the norm, is not. 
What's a syllabus? A syllabus is just a list of um, all of the important days and like all the important days for the class you're taking. My college requires you to be there on the first day of class. I'm sorry for your college choice. We're at eight here, so we're pretty far ahead on board, but opponents got two cards in hand, and if one of them's a Chain Whirler, they catch back up real quick. Yeah, it depends. It depends on the level. Upper level classes usually don't have a syllabus day. That's true. BS, BS gen ed classes almost always have a syllabus day. Huh? Maybe I should have been conservative and left some things back here. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and flash back a light up the stage here. Hopefully we find something to block. If we if we hit two lands here, we're going to be sad. Remember this one? Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and shock this just in case my opponent has a wizard's lightning. Traditional Sultai deck. The Sultai Kefnet deck on my website is fine. It's not amazing, but it's definitely fine. <sighs> it's just like any... If we needed to draw one point of damage there to kill them... I think I'm just flashing back light up the stage again. Did it get any better? It was like okay in the middle and it was kind of sad towards the end. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I totally... Yeah, I, I punted. Totally should have flashed back first. Because this, this was lethal, right? Good call. Definitely. So they, they'd have died. So if they kill us with this frenzy, we deserve it. Yeah, I have I have plenty of lands in play, so I definitely should have... Definitely should have just uh, paid three for that and tried to hit the Calavity. Uh, they're still dead on board, right? Lucky, lucky, lucky! Lucky, lucky, lucky. Magic is a skill game and the player who makes fewer mistakes always wins. The update isn't accessible yet, but the cover is Stoneforge Mystic. Don't, don't you play with my emotions like that, chat. Don't, don't do it to me. Don't, don't you let my hopes get up here just to be dashed down in the next 30 minutes. All right, I'm going to message my art guy right now. I'm going to message my art guy right now and tell him I need a splinter twin behind bars. Because if they unban Stoneforge Mystic, we're going to need to replace that emote with something. <laughs> uh, do I want some lava coils here? I feel like I want to cut some of these cards that died a goblin chain whirler. Maybe it's wrong to slow down post board. I don't know. Let's try this. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my god, they're not lying, chat. They're not lying. 
It doesn't, it doesn't currently, it doesn't cur access denied. You're not authorized, but it's, it's really a Stoneforge mystic, chat. It's, it's really a Stoneforge mystic. My stone forges are halfway into their sleeves. <laughs> oh. I I really want to know how their website backend works that it's possible for the link how how is what kind of backend are they using that this has appeared here but i can't currently access it what what kind of like like what what kind of content management system are they using that that's a thing that's possible for it to happen My Stoneforge Mystics are already out of their sleeves and ready to sell. If, listen, if you don't plan to play Stoneforge Mystics immediately, you should sell your Stoneforges as soon as they're unbanned. That's, that's my MTG Finance take of the day. If you're, if you're not going to play them immediately in Sanctioned Magic, you should sell them. Is it up? Is it up? Can I get a link? Cause it's not working. Am I cashed? Am I cashed now? Am I cashed out of it? I'm still, I'm still getting access to nine. I'm still getting access to nine. Don't deny me. Holy crap. They be <laughs> no way. No way. This is a joke, right? This is, this is a joke. This is, this is a joke, right? They actually banned Faithless Looting? They unbanned for unbanned for Ostodon is actually kind of interesting. Sorry, hold on. I was mad. I gotta I technically gotta play this. You know. I thought I was gonna be done. Just just when you think you're out, they pull you right back in, chat. Just just when you think they're out. Oh, jeez. Ferocidon is absurd against these Field of the Dead decks, huh? Put this towards a Stoneforge Mystic deck in modern, please. Thank you, Pentrat. I appreciate it. Hey, maybe uh, I need to look up. I'm blanking on whoever donated for Jeskai Blade today. But maybe the person who donated for Jeskai Blade in Legacy will let me, let me just play Stoneforge Mystic in modern. Is Jun Dinos now the best deck in standard? Yeah, probably. Sounds good, Nivik. I'm going to chump block with one of these because I don't need two of these to kill them. I don't need three of these to kill them. We can, I'm aware that we can play modern stone blade. I, I honestly can't believe that they banned faithless looting along, alongside of it. I can't, I can't believe they did both. Like if I, if I was a gambling man, I'd have, I'd have lost money on this one. If I if I was a gambling man, I'd have lost I'd have lost money on this one.
How much for a Stoneforge Mystic Day like Burn Day? They've, they've been watching the stream. I need, I need a, hold on, wait. I need to message my buddy. I need a splinter twin behind bars emote. Can't, my gal, my gal is free chat. They set, they set my people free. Can, can we play, can we play Kiki Jiki? Hey look, they did some stuff in vintage. They did some stuff in vintage. They did, they did this. For those of you that are, that are standard players and don't understand why this is a big deal, this card, there's literally an emote on the channel for it because this card should probably, they, this card's never been legal in modern. They banned it when they created the format. And, uh, it's, it might not even be good, but it's exciting. Fast bond will be insane. I might play vintage now. That's sweet. That's, you know, and then this, this is the deck. This is the card that they just printed that was in like five of the last few top eights. And then they also banned this. She's free at last. Iceman, let's get you a sword to go with that shield. Thanks for the 12 months. How long do we have to wait for these updates to happen? How long, how long do we have to wait for these updates to happen? MTG Finance is in runes at the moment. I'd believe that. No, the effective, is the effective date for Magic Online too? Now you're making me, now you're making me wonder. Magic Online effective date is today at 2 p.m. All right, so I won't be able to stream Modern today because I have to get Jake off the bus, but, uh... Wednesday, we might have other plans for Wednesday. Anybody want to buy a place out of Leyline of the Voids? I'll give you a really good deal. Wait, is the MTGA effective date that far out? Oh no, chat. Chat, I have a really big concern. Oh no. So, Wizards of the Coast is never going to work with me anyway, so let's just say it. If banning a card on Magic Arena is not as simple as them updating a server-side file and flipping a switch... Something is seriously messed up with the back end on Magic Arena. There, some one of the developers for Magic Online in the past had said that it requires a full client side rebuild to ban or unban ban or unban cards on Magic Online. And if Magic Arena is a similar process, that that's uh, that's not a good look. All right. Um, I bet the Vampires matchup for this deck is probably not good. They have to push out an update to change events and stuff for the store. Is it is it really September 1st? Can someone link it again? Can someone link the article again? Because I can't. There, I got it. I got it. Thank you. Wow. The arena effective date is September 4th. That is forever from now. All right. Let me finish sideboarding here, and then we can complain more about arena being, being a dumpster fire. Um, I 
Hey, Chevry, thanks for the four months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. All right, sorry. Sounds good, McCullough. Thanks for the thanks for the tier two. Is Frostodon good in this standard? Yeah, it'll be really good against Field of the Dead. Oh, you can't get, you can't open banned cards? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's probably good against vampires too, right? Because it deals damage to them. Arena doesn't update for over a week. We don't get it until a week from Wednesday. It is, it is modern legal, Brecken. Happy, happy Monday. Stoneforge Mystic has doubled in price. It's gonna go higher. Read. I don't know, with Faithless Looting getting banned, the fact that they banned Faithless Looting too might mean might mean that it actually sees play. Without our Lord, Lord and Savior rampaging Frostodon, we probably just never beat this, right? Technical challenges aside, plan an arena update to coincide with the announcement. Yeah, yeah, the fact that we have to wait nine days for an update to make it into arena is really embarrassing. Yeah, they banned looting. They banned looting and they unbanned Stoneforge Mystic. Hey, thanks for continuing on your sub gift, Alexa. I appreciate that. Yeah, I agree, Wekig. It's I'm not complaining that it finally happened, but it is also incredibly weird timing. Uh, our opponent is also a streamer, so you can watch this matchup from their side of the table as well if you'd like.
Nah, I already I already messaged my art guy garden variety troll. We're gonna get a splinter twin behind bars here. I've already I've already commissioned a splinter twin behind bars. So I assume they're not going to pay for here. All right, I would like to borrow Sturm you again then. They must have, they must have Soren, right? Hey, 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 Edworld, thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. I never thought I would see looting get banned. I always thought, I thought it had brainstorm status too. I agree. I thought it was a sacred cow that we were never touching. Wow, no Soren is, uh. Um. The shock, shock my land in against the burn deck is a bold strategy so kill you no i guess i guess they could technically take uh they could technically take a shock here and then i can't kill them next turn right they're dead the following turn Could, would it be good, could we pull up the Modern Magic subreddit and just scroll and enjoy the salt? Is that, is that an option? I feel like, I feel like that's something I want to do. I feel like, I feel like that's something I want to experience. I think I'm just supposed to kill their stuff here. Sir Zarper, thanks for the two buds. Do it. <laughs> thanks for the prime support. I wouldn't be super surprised if they have a Soren here. Maybe I'm just supposed to go to their dome there. Because yeah, if they play a Soren, I have to spend two burn spells on this anyways. Yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to play around Soren and I'm just supposed to go upstairs. They have Othakaya. Okay, that explains a lot. I'm glad I'm glad I killed all their stuff then. Um I think we just gamble on no removal and try and kill them here. The fact that they played the oath out aggressively probably means they have removal though. What's going on? Thanks for the 15 months to lava. I appreciate it. Welcome. Is Grishel, Grishel brand unplayable? Probably not unplayable, but it's less fast.
All right, yep. Yeah, I think that's right. I think it's right to just like make them have it and then try and kill them on the untapped there. So Esper Vampires with Thought Erasure and Othakaya. Uh, DeParis, they already posted the update and your comment did not age well. Your, your comment is not appropriate based on what we've experienced today. I feel like I have a hard time keeping Chandra alive. What's the first Stoneforge Mystic deck we're gonna play? Probably Dead Guy Ale. Probably, probably Dead Guy Ale. So. They ban Faithless Looting, they ban Gokt, and they encourage everyone to play Mopey mid-range decks. Tron... Tron's the best deck in the format by a lot, huh? Tron... Tron's about to be the best deck in the format by a lot. Ooh, Titan Shift. Titan Shift's another one. Do you think someone at Watsy was watching the stream this morning and laughing when you were saying you were going to take a break from Moto? Yeah, probably. Probably. I've, I've seen this play out before. Hopefully, if they have a Saurian, this is fine for them. But last time, they didn't have a Saurian. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can beat a Saurian without Rampaging Ferocidon. We need more Ferocidon in our lives, chat. Oh, I guess I have, I guess I have Tybalt here. Tibalt, Tibalt's like, but what about me, Jeff? I, I stop life game, Jeff. Don't you love me, Jeff? My friend is here to help your pain. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Thank you for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday wherever you are. My, my notifications are informing me that Bernie Sanders just went live on, on Twitch. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever not be weird. Chewie! Thank you for the two-thirds of your support. I appreciate it. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Bernie Sanders as a Twitch are my bits tax deductible. Asking the real questions. Does Grishel Brand become a Chalice of the Void deck? I mean, it's already a Chalice of the Void deck.
Well, I mean, if there is any card in our deck that could get us out of this, it's potentially a good series with this one. Um, uh, Stoneforge Mystic will not be legal on MTGO until after I have to sign off today, Scholar. You're looking forward to playing Neoform in the Stoneforge Mystic meta? Maybe. I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of people sleeving up, uh, sleeving up, what's it called? Uh, Force of Negation. So, I actually can't be live tomorrow, but we might take a break from Standard for the rest of the week. We might do, we might do All Modern... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Sub for Modern Week. Thanks, Titan. It also it also feels weird to like spend more time playing standard, like when the standard format's gonna change a bit too, because we're getting frosted on back. How much for a 12-hour Stoneforge Mystic stream? Uh, I'd have to look at my schedule and see if I could do that one day this week. What does what does my life look like? I need some actual factual call blade. Sounds good, scholar. Thank you for the absurd support. I could probably do a long stream on Wednesday. I could probably do a long stream on Wednesday. Three cheers for losing, man. Juicy Jace, thanks for the three months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. We'll do pizza. Thanks for the support. We'll we'll do Jeskai Blade in modern. Hey, hey T-Wooey, thanks for the sub gift. I appreciate it. Looting down ancient stories hopefully makes, makes the same thing. You know, honestly, I, yeah, Naya Ponza would be fine. TCG player app just sent me a push notification saying ding dong Gak is dead. God bless. Card Breaker, thank you for the 12 months of support there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. Isn't, isn't protection fun, chat? Isn't, isn't protection fun and interesting? It generates neat games with back and forth where both players get to make meaningful decisions.
Stoneforge Mystic is almost a hundred over a hundred dollars. I believe that. Kazenti, thank you for the 20 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Yikes. How do we play Narset Cannon without Faithless Looting? It's 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 a tough it's a tough question. Holy crap guys! We can we can down tick our Tefri Time Raveler to bounce our Stoneforge Mystic and replay it and get another piece of equipment. Does that sound great? That sounds great. Or with Chase the Mind Sculptor, yep. So, if I don't attack Tefri, they get to bounce Oath. Oh, but if I attack, if I attack Tefri, they get an oath trigger. Yeah, it's just a shitty, crappy situation regardless of what happens. They're just like, gonna play second. They're just gonna like play second Tefri and bounce oath anyways. Yeah, that's how this works. If our frenzy's good, we might be able to power through anyways, but... There's a good chance that we don't get to do it. This is a good play on their part. Uh, I don't think Scorcher's in my deck at the moment, if I recall correctly. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Night Veil Predator. Wow, they are really heavy into black. Oh, I can't cast this during my upkeep because there's a, there's a Tefri, right? Forgot, forgot we were playing Hearthstone for a second there. Hey, Jeremy, thanks for the 23 months. I appreciate it. Welcome. Yeah, our frenzy's been pretty good here, but it still might not be enough. I don't think I want to throw this away for three damage. I think I want to save it as a blocker. Yeah, we have to we have to chump the knight. So I don't want to be dead to a single removal spell or bounce spell.
Uh, we're dead, right? We're just dead to this in the air. This has hex proof, so I can't interact with it. Yeah, a lot of decks. A lot of decks took a huge hit. Let's play. Let's play one more with the mono red deck, and we'll slide along to something else. I mean, I, attacking doesn't kill them, Rain Spider. Yeah, I'd already I'd already played a land for the turn. Thanks for the eight months, been maxed. I appreciate it. I mean, all things considered, our four is very good here. Unfortunate that uh, this only drew one card, though. All right, not uh, not veto at least. Anyone need a match? Did I miss your sub notification, Millbot? Um. I didn't give you a sword. I thought I read that one. Thanks, Kitty. Is that, that's Kiki Jiki's face though, Goldie, isn't it? I think you grabbed the wrong card, all right? I think we're probably dead no matter how we slice this. I mean, Kiki Court is maybe playable again? Yeah, maybe. Probably the Vanifier configuration. Consider this bridge burned. Oh. <sighs> Uh, 
Get these fries in, get Frenzy in. Metrum Shock, I think. Maybe Skewer as well. See, it lacks, lacks a one drop, but it's fine. Fine either way. Thanks for the four months, Ripples. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Old man MTG. Thanks for the two months. I appreciate it. To be fair, there's a chance Stoneforge Mystic actually does something in Modern since they also banned Faithless Looting. If you can make your Stoneforge decks not just dead to Tron, they probably have a reasonable shot at being okay. the land there is great obviously hey, don't start any fires without me say hi to my fiery friends i'm i'm excited for people to start playing death and taxes lists that have leon and arbiter and stoneforge mystic in them Another punch, and you're gonna get burned. Huh? So, I think I want to give this up, and I want to lightning strike this mage. Attack them for three and then light up the stage again. This one? I mean, Wurza doesn't really change. I don't think... I would be surprised if it... I don't think Stoneforge Mystic goes in Wurza. I would be kind of surprised if good players come to that conclusion. Now, there might be a different Stoneforge Mystic Thopter Foundry deck out there. That's fine. But I would be surprised if the, the existing Wurza deck just wants Stoneforge Mystic slotted into it.
I think trying to reduce modern to some super reductionist three-point system like that, Chef Seth, is really stupid. I think regardless of what gets banned or unbanned, modern is going to be a format where a bunch of a bunch of people just keep showing up with the decks they already own. I think, I think you'll see a lot of people who like their Faithless Looting decks that just play Cathartic Reunion and their deck becomes a little bit worse. Yeah, so, except Hagak players, LOL. So, Hagak players don't really apply in this instance because Hagak isn't a deck that people have had for years that they will continue, that they're continuing to play, right? Like, Hagak was this new thing that popped up for the first time. It, it's different than all of these other modern decks that are established decks that people... It's different than the person who's been playing Death and Taxes for five years. The person who's been playing Kiki Cord for a decade, right? Like, there's not... That Hagak was the deck that the Spikes were chasing, right? Like, that's very, very different. People, people who love Dredge will probably still continue to play Dredge through the Faithless Duty Bat. It'll be worse in some ways, but people are also going to have less Graveyard Hate, which will make it better in other ways. As far as this deck is concerned, um, the, more, the more I play these Calamity decks, the more I'm pretty sure they're just bad mono red. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure just like a few of the games we played today, we like boarded in this frenzy and just like drew our one of frenzy. And the only reason we were in the game was because of frenzy. And I think you should probably just be playing traditional for frenzy mono red. If you want a mono red right now, I think um, this card, depending on having attackers in play is kind of a liability. Even though Chandra Spitfire is really powerful. I feel like a lot of the cards we're surrounding it with just aren't good enough to make up for things. All right. All right. We're going to roll on into the next standard deck of the day. That being said, last wrap up next week, nine days from now, because apparently it takes nine days to unban a card on Magic Arena. Um, yeah, this deck will get to play Frost on and all the red decks will be better. Thanks for the nine months, PL. I appreciate it. Paper Skate. Thanks for the three. Wraith PK, 16. Welcome back. Kai Kai Killer, sorry uh, your thing didn't pop up. It was it a resub or a new sub? It's a resub. Sometimes you have to refresh to send it through. They unbanned Rampaging Frost.